Hello everyone, my name is Gabi Bukataro from the Stocksy Artist Relations team, bringing you a hot topic when it comes to having the correct shutter speed while filming video. Transitioning from photography to video can be intimidating, especially if you've got some shoots declined from editors mentioning that the motion is off or the shutter speed seems incorrect. It all has to do with the motion blur and the way we perceive movement as natural because of watching movies for the past century. Incorrect shutter speeds will result in an unnatural motion blur which can be jarring for fast shutter speed settings or may have a smeared or trailed blur if using a slow one. It all has to do with a very simple formula and setting each time you plan on shooting video. Shutter speed equals frames per second times 2. If you remember to set your correct shutter speed using this simple formula every time before recording, the motion blur in your footage should look natural. You really only need to set this once and change it accordingly only when you switch frame rates. All cameras are not created equal, but all of them use the same settings I mentioned and the same principle to get the right results. To find out your shutter speed, multiply 23.976 times 2 equals 48. My camera doesn't have that exact shutter speed stop, so I round it up to the closest available, which is 1 50th of a second. On Blackmagic cinema cameras or more high-end cameras, you can also set the speed by using shutter angle degrees instead of shutter speed values as you might be used to in photography. For instance, a shutter angle of 180 degrees is equivalent to the 1 50th of a second shutter speed when filming in 23.976 frames per second. Furthermore, this formula will help us find the correct shutter speed when we want to capture slow motion movement. So for instance, if you are shooting at 120 frames per second following the formula, set your shutter speed at 240th of a second, 120 times 2 equals 240. Again, if you can't set it exactly, round it up, in this case 250th of a second. Be aware that increasing the shutter speed when shooting at a high frame rate will inherently lower the exposure so make sure to film only if you can expose your image properly. You'll quickly realize that filming normal movement at 23.976 frames per second using a 1 50th of a second shutter speed in broad daylight will overexpose your image. The fix here is to either stop down the aperture or the ISO or use a good quality ND filter to cut down on the amount of light hitting the sensor. We know all this information can be intimidating for those starting with video. So all you need to remember from this tutorial is that if you are shooting normal speed at 23.976 frames per second, set your shutter speed at 1 50th of a second or have a 180 degree shutter angle. That's all. Hope this video will help you understand how to set the proper shutter speed depending on the frame rate you are recording and capture some insanely good footage. As always, please let us know of any questions you might have. We're here to help.